Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. For today's video, we'll be talking about how to add a handle to your plate. To add a handle to our plate, uh, we must decide on two things. Uh, the first thing we need to decide is what type of handle to use and the second decision is where are we going to mount it on the plate. Here are three different types of handles. The first two handles are uh, handles that utilize webbing and then the last uh, handle is one that is just a uh, plain uh, cord. So um, the top handle is actually a handle that is designed specifically for use with the plate in the wing uh, and uh, you'll notice uh, that it has um, uh, longer webbing uh, points uh, than the second handle which is uh, made to be used uh, to carry a kayak. Uh, another thing that you'll notice with the top two handles uh, that use webbing is that there is uh, some sort of webbing stiffener there uh, to make uh, it easier to carry uh, the plate uh, as the stiffener will prevent the handle from um, uh, from collapsing. Uh, the third uh, handle there is just a plain piece of 3 8 inch uh, cord and uh, that's also possible uh, to be used. Uh, I'm sure there are many other approaches but um, here are three uh, common ways to be able to, um, uh, three different common uh, handles to use. Once you've decided which handle to use, the next decision is to where to attach the handle uh, to the plate. So. Uh, there are at least three options here. One option is to attach the handle to the webbing, uh, most likely using grommets. Uh, a second way is to attach the handle uh, to existing holes in the plate, uh, such as the uh, plate positioning holes. And a third way is to actually drill uh, new holes in the plate yourself. Uh, of these three options, uh, we recommend uh, option number one. Uh, option number two, uh, has the issue where the plate might twist while you're carrying it and option three uh, requires access uh, to a uh, drill press. We're going to first take a look at the method of attaching the handle uh, to the webbing with grommets. To do this you'll need a few tools and also uh, the grommets. So uh, the tool on the top uh, is the hole cutter. Uh, then um, the tool in the center uh, right below that is the uh, uh, two parts of the uh, grommet setting tool. And then on the left are the two grommets you're going to use. Uh, it's very important to use the correct type of grommets when doing this type of installation. Uh, the type of grommet that you want to use uh, is going to be made out of stainless steel and it's going to be also uh, a type of washer uh, grommet known as a star grommet. Uh, these have much uh, higher holding uh, capability than a normal uh, grommet for uh, something that will potentially uh, bear load. So what has been done at this point is to cut a hole uh, in the webbing with the hole uh, punch tool and uh, we have done this uh, at a particular point in the webbing. Uh, you can actually do it while your webbing is still on your plate or you can uh, take your webbing off uh, to do this. Uh, the hole for the grommets needs to be approximately seven inches away uh, from the center of the webbing uh, where the other grommet is that you can see uh, in the photograph. Uh, and so what this does is it prevents the new grommets uh, that you're going to be installing from uh, interfering uh, with the back of the plate and at the same time uh, it, they are positioned in such a way that uh, uh, they will not interfere with uh, the uh, weight um, being carried by the, uh, by the webbing. In this photograph, the bottom component of the grommet has been placed underneath the webbing uh, on top of the grommet setting tool base. Here, the top part of the grommet has been put on top of the bottom part of the grommet, and we're ready to set the grommet. 
Here the grommet is being set. At this point it is very important to uh, apply quite a bit of force and to hit the uh, grommet tool several times to ensure that the grommet uh, is uh, installed correctly. Here's a picture of two grommets completely set in the webbing. Uh, one choice that you may make is whether to have the solid part of the grommet on the top of the webbing or the solid part of the grommet on the bottom part of the webbing. Uh, I don't really think it matters, uh, but for aesthetic purposes, uh, in this particular case, I set the grommets uh, so that the solid part of the grommet was on top of the webbing. In this uh, picture, I have the short webbing handle uh, installed on the webbing. And here's a picture of the short webbing handle uh, attached uh, to the back of the webbing. Here is the section of cord uh, attached uh, to the grommets uh, in the webbing. Next I'm going to talk about plate mounted options in the event that you uh, are not interested in uh, using the webbing uh, mounted option. Here is an example of a webbing handle uh, mounted directly to the plate using one of the plate uh, position adjustment holes. Uh, in this case, um, in order to do this, uh, you're going to need to use the handle that has the extra webbing uh, between the edge of the handle and uh, the actual grommet itself. Here's an example of a plate mounted cord handle uh, of course you can use a longer section of cord uh, if you'd like more clearance uh, for the handle. Let's talk about uses for the plate handle next. So obviously uh, the primary purpose of using a plate handle is to more easily carry the plate. Uh, prior to using a plate handle I used to put my forearm through the webbing straps and uh, lift it around that way. Uh, but I think uh, using a plate handle uh, makes um, transporting the plate uh, a little uh, more easy uh, to do. Uh, a second reason, uh, less obvious than the first uh, for having a plate handle, is that it can be used as a securing point uh, to attach the belt and crotch strap to. Uh, so uh, one of the things that you probably don't want to have happen is having your belt and crotch strap uh, drag on the ground. So what you can do is you can put your crotch strap through your waist strap and then you can use a double ender to attach the scooter ring on the front of the crotch strap uh, to uh, the side of the plate handle. So this way uh, if you're transporting uh, your rig, whether it's a single or double back mount rig, uh, with your plate, uh, you will not have anything uh, dragging along the ground. Uh, a third uh, possible use for uh, the plate handle is to assist you uh, in securing the long hose. And uh, what this does is prevent your long hose from um, uh, uh, dragging around on the ground as well. And I think I will ultimately uh, make a video on ways of securing your long hose for transport. Uh, when you are not actually uh, using your, um, uh, your plate in the way you're just transporting it in your vehicle. All right, so those are three uses uh, for uh, the plate um, uh, handle. That's it for today's video. I hope uh, that some of you may have found it useful. Uh, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.